In 1921, 10-year-old John Betar embarked on an international journey from his native Syria to join his father in the United States. Settling in Bridgeport, Connecticut, the family established their home, and Betar would later find employment selling fruit for a living. His work as a fruit vendor took him along the Connecticut coast, where he frequented towns by the water. However, the most significant chapter of his life unfolded right in his own neighborhood, within a Syrian community where 17-year-old Anne Shawa also resided. Bitar purchased his own car, a 1932 Ford Roadster, and began chauffeuring Anne and her friends to school. Over time, their interactions blossomed into outings, with Bitar using the same vehicle to take Anne on dates. Reflecting on those times, John fondly recalled she loved the Ford. Their connection deepened. Anne's father had arranged her marriage to a man two decades her senior. This arrangement, likely made amidst the Great Depression, aimed to secure her financial stability in uncertain times. Despite this obstacle, Anne remained steadfast in her love for John, and the couple decided to elope. On November 25, 1932, they traveled to Harrison, New York, 34 miles from their hometown in Connecticut, to exchange their bows in secrecy and start their journey together. As expected, Anne's family was displeased with her decision. Her aunt even consoled her father at predicting that her marriage to Bitar wouldn't last. However, the couple would prove them wrong. Over the course of their more than 80-year marriage, the Bitars welcomed five children, 14 grandchildren, and 16 great-grandchildren. They started a grocery business after their wedding, which they closed in 1963. John then pursued a career as a realtor. Meanwhile, Anne managed the day-to-day -day affairs of their household. Even after turning 100 years old, with John at 104, she continued to clean, cook, tend to the garden, and host family gatherings. By that time, the Bitars had been recognized as the nation's longest married couple. While they didn't hold the record for the longest marriage in the U.S., the worldwide marriage encounter honored them for their achievements and dedication to each other over eight decades of marriage. After receiving the award, Anne and John attributed their enduring zest for life to their large family. Anne remarked, We were fortunate enough to live long enough to see this, and it's really one of the most gratifying things in the world to see your great-grandchildren, to see your grandchildren become adults. Their enduring love must have inspired them to reach their next milestone, their 85th wedding anniversary. At that time, CBS Minnesota suggested that they might actually hold the record for the longest marriage in the country. Regardless of their official title, the centenarian couple remained as deeply in love as ever. And they said it wouldn't last. John chuckled, leaning toward Anne with a twinkle in his eye. News crews caught up with the couple in 2017, just before they celebrated their anniversary with their extended family in Fairfield, CT. Their party was held just a few miles from where the Bitars had first met, adding a sentimental touch to the occasion. But there was another surprise waiting for them, a special vehicle reminiscent of their early years together. Look at that car! John exclaimed as they approached a Ford Roadster, similar to the one he had bought all those years ago. Climbing into the vehicle, he turned to his wife of 85 years and said, You are my honey, like old times. Their exceptionally enduring and sweet union sparked curiosity among other couples. How did they manage to make it last so long? John shared with the Independent, We're just lucky to be together. He emphasized that the highlight of their marriage was simply being in each other's company. John also advised couples to find joy in the little things and seek contentment. Just contentment, he explained to NTTV, being contented with what you have, what you're doing. Despite their lasting bond, they did encounter challenges. John noted that most of their disagreements revolved around cooking. It's only about cooking, that's the only arguments we had, he joked, though Anne had a different perspective. Anne believed that their ability to avoid major arguments stemmed from their commitment to listening to each other. No matter what the situation is, we're not arguing, we're listening, and we've always listened, she shared with CBS Minnesota. The couple also stressed the importance of compromise in a relationship. They expect miracles of each other like, you have to agree with me, this is what I want to do, but it doesn't work that way. We're all different, Anne explained to NTDV. Their advice may seem simple, but for the Betars, it was the foundation of one of the world's most successful marriages.